Bienvenidos, mi amigos. Welcome back to Cartel Tycoon. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, in the last video, we set up our new enterprise on a brand new map in the San Rafaela uh, DLC. And uh, I am going to continue the course of action that we've been given, which is fundraising. But in order to do so, we're going to need to dry cannabis, which means I'm kind of pigeonholed into getting tier two. I have tried to figure out whether or not I wanted to go farm three and then drying wreck two. Kind of skip it. But the way I see it is I'm going to need this anyway, and it gives us access to other things like the hotel, like a secondary, like a larger warehouse, all these things that are very useful. We're going to need to get this anyway, and I don't really need farm three right now. So, uh, you know, and then drying rack one is much cheaper than drying rack two. So overall, I think the expenses are lower and the usefulness of this tier and unlocking it directly is going to come in handy. So I am going to go ahead and hit it now. There's a lot of money, but it's only three days to unlock tier uh, tier two stuff. In the meantime, we can just jam on it maximum speed with no worries at all. I would like to know what the fairy ruins do, what the fairy station does. And so today, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to bring this guy over here. This is only going to be combat one. However, if I bring... Capo here too at the same time. They won't arrive at exactly the same time, but pretty close. And he's combat one. He's combat one. But he's got that ability that gives extra strength to people who are. Uh, he gets more strength on those people around him. So it should be three. Uh, he gets two. Sorry. So two plus here, and he gets that. So it's a total of three on two, basically. And there's an event. Let's take a look. Uh, Guillermo Falco stares into the phone's receiver as if trying to see through the other side. Then he holds the phone back against against her his ear. You found what? A whole fucking lab. Hero por Dios, capo. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. The outside is covered in vines and shit, but the uh, stuff inside looks good. I'd say we could load this up in a tr uh, in a truck and build ourselves a shiny new lab with this stuff. Or I could probably pedal it for like 10 grand. What do you think, Capo? So if we keep this uh, salvage value to your next lab will be free to build, though you will still need to pay upkeep. Or we could take the money now. And this is gaining 10,000 in legal money. So the next lab being free... I feel like that's not a big deal, right? Because it, it, this is only a good to do if the next lab I plan to build is more than 10 grand. And the next lab I plan to build is not going to cost more than 10 grand, I don't think. So I, I don't think I get to save this and only use this for the for a specific lab later. It's just the next one. Um, so I'm going to go with pass it on and get the money. Because I don't believe the next lab is going to cost more than $10,000, okay? So, yeah, good find, my lieutenant. Thank you, Capo. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and fight for this. I, I want to see what the fairy is. I want to see what it does for me. We got another area over here. Might be able to get access to the military base and start talking to the general, which would be pretty cool. Although we do have to send a lot of stuff to him, but we'll see how that goes. Tier 2 research being done. We're up to 19,000 in legal money and... The ferry is done. So the building is almost ruined. You need to upgrade it first to start using it. And it doesn't really tell me what it does yet. I'm trying not to like go and look at the patch notes or something, you know, like I know that's probably something a lot of people do and it makes complete sense. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely makes sense. Uh, in fact, he has an upgrade, so I can do this too. I increase his money laundering vibe by 15%. That's a really good one actually for him to have. So I'm going to go ahead and give him that. And uh, now we should be able to put him in this building and the laundering volume for this building will increase, which is good. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm pretty confident this is to move across the water, okay? But that's just me. Um, before we go ahead and activate that, uh, I wanna go ahead and get drying rack first. So we'll hit that. It looks like we do have enough money to activate this anyway, um, but I don't need to. But I just wanted to clear it out now so that later on when terror is higher, I don't have to spend I don't have to get terror when terror is higher, right? So now I can wait on that. So this warehouse is starting to get filled up. So we have some opium problems probably here. 
Uh, we have a lot more coffee, right? So we still need even more opium to be moved through here. We need a lot more trucks is what I'm thinking we need. It's a lot more trucks. Um, the fact that they're only moving two opium at a time is a little bit annoying. That seems to be the capacity for each truck is what it looks like. I've not seen them move faster than this. But we, it looks to me, based on the workshop, we are overproducing coffee and underproducing opium. So we need to do more. But it's not about... I don't think it's about underproduction. I think it's just a lack of logistics, right? We just don't have enough trucks moving it to where its destination is. And that... We add trucks by adding additional warehouses. But uh, I'd rather have my warehouses better. Like, I want to have better warehouses instead. So that is part of tier two as well we could go down and get warehouse two as well and it looks to me like that's gonna be my next thing i'm gonna get yeah we'll get drying rack and then we'll get warehouse two and then we can upgrade these warehouses so that they have more vehicles because on the next level up not only does their storage capacity increase uh but i do believe their the number of trucks they get increases as well it stores right over here so storage capacity goes from small to medium trucks doubles that's gonna be great uh and then our sizes of our trucks also get bigger which is also great. Uh, so that's going to be huge. Uh, we definitely, definitely want that. And then their service radius increases as well. So everything about that sounds great to me. We're definitely going to have that. Look at all these vehicles running in there. For that legal money. For the money laundering, right? And we could probably get by with... Like this is 16,100, right? It's So it's elevated compared to what it used to be. I, mean, I don't even know if we, there's a reason to go any, to any lower... You know, like, should, do we go lower? Do we go higher? I'm not entirely sure on that one. Uh, looks like week, month. Yeah, total. Okay. And then I'm thinking about getting another business in here too. A potential, another another uh, thing that could might help us with loyalty and stuff, right? Getting our loyalty up is a really good idea. Um, loyalty increases when you buy goods and resources in the village, construct buildings, and donate to special events. And so at certain levels of loyalty, we gain perks. So for example, if we have loyal citizens, uh, right now they're just at acceptance. We don't quite have that little dash mark there. It's very close. We don't quite have that. And so we don't have, basically cities do not lose control. So in other words, if I was to leave this, it's mostly for newer people, right? Um, if I leave this town, I don't have any lieutenants in here. Then what happens is we will slowly lose control of this city, okay? We need to have somebody in the city borders at all times, right? And in a building, that is within the city counts as being in the city. So as long as we have somebody in here, we will maintain control. However, if we have this level of loyalty, we that's not true. We won't lose control anyway. So we want to get loyalty up too, because uh, loyalty is really powerful. Um, lieutenants get additional power if we have this much, which is great because people will help us in war conflicts. If we get to this level, enemy gangs will, uh, their attacks on us will be less frequent. We haven't been attacked by an enemy gang yet, but that's going to change. <laughs> as we get bigger, I'm pretty sure that's going to change. And then finally here, uh, terror goes down faster because people love you more than they are afraid. And then over here on the terror side of things, this is where we start getting law enforcement involved. So we're not going to have any problems with police is, unless the terror goes up. And having buildings full is going to raise that terror. We don't want that to happen either. Uh, so we've sold 305, sorry, 315 uh, and going up steadily, 315 units of opium at the border, which is fantastic. And uh, now with that drying rack, we could start getting into this. This is what I wanted to get to. So uh, we want to get that $14,000 that we have. Uh, our production should be drying. Uh, yeah, drying rack right here. So it only costs 2000 And this, I think, would have been... I think maybe... Well, maybe it's lab specific. I think it's probably like specifically a lab. But the tier one lab is ten grand. So effectively, it's the same thing unless I'm going a higher tier lab. And of course I'm not doing that, so it's fine. The drying rack will go right here. It's a good place for it. Uh, and then from there, we'll probably want to get another workshop. We can package it all up nicely. I was really hoping it would go there, but I guess not. Okay, sorry about the little hiccup of my recording there. Um, we're gonna put in the, uh, the workshop and uh, I'm gonna set it to be, I think right about here on the back side of this. Uh, that's going to hook it up to this road. And then um, we'll probably go ahead and maintain this with dirty money, I think. Because these buildings all can be. We just need to do the research that's going to allow us to, you know, sort of maintain that too. Um, but with these two buildings, 
built and uh, being managed by Dirty Money, hopefully. We don't have to... Uh, Let's actually go ahead and see what they do here. Do they actually bring it in there? They will. So that will allow them to build it. And then this residence will just maintain these. So uh, we'll do the best we can with that. For the drying rack, right? We want all these things that have all this high maintenance, like the workshops and stuff for sure. We want these things to be managed, uh, maintained by cheaper means. And that's the dirty money. So I'm going to go into uh, warehouse would be okay to go down to, but I'm mostly looking for the workshop right here. So we have upgrades to the workshop. We've already streamlined the processing. Now we can make it to where dirty money upkeep uh, is reduced. And so this is going to bring the work. This is going to bring the upkeep of this building from 58 down to 43. And I think that's a good thing to do because we're having a lot of workshops uh, throughout this playthrough. So there's that. We can also increase its storage capacity. But at the moment, we don't really have a bottleneck with regards to storage. Uh, if we're producing at the right ratio, we shouldn't be storing much in here anyway. So we're just going to hold off on that. Okay. Uh, somehow I have an overlay showing me soil quality layers. I don't, uh, I don't need that. So you can get rid of that. There we go. Uh, what's up, dude? Capo. A stranger at the border has offered to pay us a premium for a small batch of opium. I'm not sure if we should be dealing with people like this. Oh, uh, Huevo laughs, uh, running a deep cloth over their red stained knuckles. Of course. La Pluma. In this business, you have to come to terms with the fact that you'll be dealing with some of the worst the world has to offer. I've dealt with men that laugh at the face of hell, who've tasted the blood of children, kissed like a vicious poison ivy, the cold hands of mothers, sons, fathers, and daughters. He says he's a representative from an American pharmaceutical company. <laughs> oh, well, I see what you mean. Uh, let me think. <laughs> That's good. Um, we're just gonna make it de yeah makes a deal to sell 100 units of opium for ten thousand I mean, dollars that's that's fine yeah it's a really good price actually so uh, i believe we could probably do that we are selling a lot of opium uh just a matter of how much and how what the what the timeline is on this but i think we can go for the big one here we'll, we'll sell a whole bunch at a really increased price which is great and this is going to double dip too in addition to uh getting this quest uh as we sell uh it'll also i believe anyway tick uh this as the, at the same time so since we're already doing this we might as well so yeah deliver 100 units for 10,000. but tell him if he ever shows his face on the border again we will deliver him nothing but lead but do it yourself and keep it quiet i don't want the word getting out about this the damage to my reputation would be immeasurable Listo capo. Makes me feel sick just thinking about it. <laughs> I've dealt with people who laugh in the face of who kill children. Oh, but this is an American pharmaceutical company rep. Oh shit. Well, that's worse. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'll have to think about this. Love that. <laughs> anyway, um, so if we can get the workshop done, they, they should deliver the money here soon. As soon as we sell something at the border here, they'll deliver the money here. And then they'll build that workshop. Now, that workshop is going to have the same options as this one does, which is that it can use either vegetables or coffee. If we want to use anything better, we need to upgrade the workshop. That's pretty expensive to do. Coffee is what we're already growing. And you might think that that is a good thing, because like I can just take this, for example, activate uh, coffee. I'm already disabling containers, right? Uh, well, we're already accepting it. It's not doing it. So you might think, hey, let's grow coffee because we've got the farm and the fertility to grow coffee. We even have it right here, which, you know, I've put other things on there and I wasn't even thinking about it. Here's the thing, though. We are already doing coffee to the border. And the border crossings, if you sell a lot of volume of one item, Eventually, the authorities will take notice of that and they'll start searching because it's suspicious how much volume of that product is now moving through the border. It's irregular, right? So to help yourself against that, you want to diversify how much you're selling and, and what you're selling. You want to diversify it. And that's what we're going to ultimately try to do here. So I'm going to turn this drying rack on so that these trucks will go and I'll go ahead and flip this on so that all the opium is now going to go in here and get dried. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build this and just turn it on legal for now. It's fine. We should start drying, right? We're gonna dry all this, all this cannabis, and uh, not dried opium, dried cannabis. And so, what we want to do here is we want to package it, and we're gonna try to package this in vegetables. So it's gonna be dried cannabis and vegetables. Now, vegetables 
there's not a whole lot of fertility in this area. It's like 30%. It's pretty bad. But if we if we crank this up to tier two, we might be able to get away with, you know, having just one field here or something. Maybe on this side, or I, if I could put it right here, that'd be cool. But I think I'm out of room here. Uh, I could, I guess, get rid of this road. I just paid for it. But if I, if I jam it in right here, that might be all right. So why don't we try that? Why don't we say that we just get rid of this road right here? And we're going to have to, you know, redraw it probably because this thing is disconnected now. But that's okay. Can we get a tier two vegetable farm in here? Yes, right there. So we're going to put that there. And then from there, I can probably redraw this road. So it just needed to be moved a little bit to allow that to get in there. And then we'll take the sandy one and just kind of go like that and like that and then like that and then like that. <laughs> it's fine. So vegetable farm is in there. And this, of course, will grow vegetables. Now we can take those vegetables that we're growing from this tier two farm, uh, which is going to produce more vegetables than the tier one farm, of course. And uh, it will then uh, push those vegetables into here so that this can be uh, processed. We will then have packaged containers of that good. So we are not doing coffee containers here. We're going to be doing vegetable containers here, right? And uh, so in that regard, just in case, I don't think it's going to be a problem because it's way over here, so it won't be a problem. But if this farm was placed like right here, I would want to disable this warehouse from getting vegetables. So like right here, I'd want to tick that off. Uh, that way, these trucks don't go after vegetables, and that would leave the entire supply for this warehouse. Okay, so at this point, our drying rack is just waiting for cannabis. So we're going to go ahead and turn these fields back on. That's a lot of maintenance. But let's see if we can do something about the maintenance that's coming in through here too. So in my research, I want to find farms, right? And there's a thing here that allows dirty money upkeep to decrease the maintenance of, of farms, right? Farm maintenance goes from $5 to three. Plantations go down from 34 to 25. That's pretty good. Uh, the yield also being increased, vegetable output being increased is good. Opium output being increased is probably good for our coffees, but this is also gonna increase coffee too. Uh, it looks to me though, like on a percentage basis though, this is gonna be net positive 50% more for opium. And uh, what is that like? Eight, 16%, 17 and a half percent, whatever for coffee output, right? So it, it's ultimately a net benefit for us to get more opium in this regard. So that should help us in moving more product and vegetables output going up is a good thing too. So I'm gonna grab this as the next research. It'll allow us to produce a, as a net more opium. And um, if I take a look at this, yeah, we're at uh, 114 coffee in here. So I probably don't need this farm to be active for a while. So I can turn that off for a bit. This can just use its, uh, its existing supply. It only has 125 storage for this. So if we start giving this more coffee than it can handle, that's going to be an issue. And these guys have a tendency to do that. They have a tendency to hit these buildings and fill them up. And I, I don't want them to not do that. Okay, so you're just waiting for vegetables. That's known. Do we have any locals that we could buy from? It doesn't look like it. That's a residence. We don't seem to have any villages anywhere nearby. Just a really weirdly placed warehouse. These are very spread out here. Not very optimized. So we don't have any villages to buy from. One thing we could do is we could get an area depot. This is going to let us purchase things. It's not that expensive to build, but the expensive part of it comes from using a very valuable slot. Um, but it would allow us to like, say for instance, buy vegetables. I think it's not worth doing that, but that is an option we could do if we wanted to get more vegetables quickly. We could just build that really quick and then we just ship vegetables over here. We're not going to do that, so it's fine. Okay, so the vegetables are about to pop. As soon as they do, trucks will come over there and grab it, and then they'll take them over here and we'll start getting this packaged. That's very good. The transport company, I believe, will just grab those vegetables that are packaged up from here and then it should start to ship that product as well. So let's see what this does. You get vegetables brought into the warehouse and then the vegetables are then taken over to here and we start doing it. Now this works at a ratio of three to one. So we need to produce three times more dried cannabis than we do uh, vegetables. 
So this building works, this dryer here, it works by taking 34 cannabis and turning it into just three dried cannabis, all right? Vegetables popped, brought it into here, and this building is now gonna take three dried cannabis along with one vegetable and package it up. And then that package gets shipped with the transport company to the border. So we are able now to ship dried cannabis and it should start doing that now. Uh, it does look like we have shipped the maximum that we needed to here and potentially even fulfill that other contract. At least we should have because we had more than 100 to go. So there's another event. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click that. It says, Capo, earlier today we got a call from someone claiming to be police. They said they'd be giving one of our warehouses a random spot check. I assumed it was some tambos with too much time on their hands, but one of, their, one of our spotters has just called in a police vehicle leaving the city and heading toward one of our safe houses. How do you want us to deal with this? Put some money in their hands? Yeah. Spend 2,000 legal money and the police detention star will freeze. I think I like that. Ask a favor from the locals. Spend a small amount of loyalty. Police detention star will freeze. Or don't waste your time. 2,000 is really not that much money to spend. I'm just going to put the money in their hands. I don't want to I don't want to sacrifice loyalty right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some money in their hands right now. 2,000 legal money is nothing. So yeah, send them on their way. If they won't go, they will, mijo. <laughs> they will, mijo. Uh, if uh, they were serious, we'd already have half the DEA sticking their rifles up our asses. Uh, this smells like a board, some bored gringos trying to make a quick buck off of the shine of their badge. All right, so in other words, they're going to leave us alone now. But we do have too much uh, opium going on over here. So we're going to have to do something about that. <laughs> Uh, not enough of it getting delivered here. Let's take a look at our research. And I would like to go in to get here. Warehouse 2. This is great. It's going to increase the storage capacity. It's going to give us more trucks. Double the trucks, really. And those trucks can hold more stuff. That's just all around a very good upgrade to get. And we're going to go ahead and get that now. So we are a little bit light on funds. I don't know if you know that, but uh, we are very much light on funds. Uh, paying that legal money has frozen the star so this is now under control for the next 20 days nothing will bring this uh, it's frozen here okay so we're kind of safe for a little while we bought ourselves some time but we are running out of money to launder our expenses are too high and uh, i actually don't even have like more lieutenants even so we're gonna need to sell more product and we should see are you not shipping the vegetables Ah, you're not. So I need to go like this. Now the transport company should go for vegetable containers. And I'm hoping that they will come on over here. I don't see them doing that yet, but they really should be. Give them a direct route. I know that's not really much, but it's, it's a direct route into this building. And I want to see this transport company do this. I haven't seen them anywhere. This is a truck for it. So do they go to the... Did they, did they go? What's what's this? What's in here? That's the coffee still. You only have one truck. Oh my gosh, you only have one truck. Okay, we need a better transport company too, because I mean I understand why there's why you're shipping that, but like this is getting full on cannabis right now. I just need everything, you know, like I need everything upgraded. So the warehouse upgrade is gonna be huge, I think. It's gonna allow us to push more stuff into where it needs to go. Um, since this is already full of cannabis, it's likely that these are not going to get emptied very fast. So it might be useful, I think, to have a second warehouse here. And by might be useful, I think, yes, it's definitely useful. I also probably need to produce more cannabis, as uh, tough as it is to swallow that, because uh, with 34 turning into 3 is what it looks like, right? Is it the drying rack? Yeah, 34 turns into 3. And then it's 3 to 1. So effectively, we need to produce 34 cannabis for every one vegetable. We're producing 16 vegetables at, uh, I guess it's not really a fixed ratio, is it? Because this is like, what, five days, six hours, right? And then this over here produces 19 cannabis that does so in 21 hours. So we're producing a lot more cannabis than I think... I don't think we're able to keep up with the vegetables is what I'm saying. 
I might be wrong on that, but I don't think we can keep up on the vegetables. So I may need to get uh, another vegetable farm too. But it's, none of that's going to matter until I get more trucks. So I just need to get more trucks. And that's what this warehouse, this is what this uh, upgrade is supposed to do for me. Uh, after that upgrade, I think I might go into uh, getting another delivery route for the transport company would be great. But better is this. Increases the amount of available trucks. That's going to be good too. So I need, I need to look at all these things. It would be nice to lower our upkeep, right? To reduce our upkeep, you know, by managing it with illegal money and stuff like that. Uh, if I was to do that with the workshop, for example, we already have that upgrade. Uh, I would need to get another residence over here to have that unless I do this. I guess I could do this to the workshop. And then that way, as soon as this building gets money from the border, it will use some of it to go over here. Uh, the other thing is I can take the checkpoint. I've already done this with the checkpoint. $900 per day on the upkeep cost over here. I've made that a dirty money upkeep too. So it's just pulling it from the supply and storage. So we'll just let this take a chunk of our money, I guess. Um, and then as these guys get cash, they should bring it into these buildings. Yep. That'll reduce the maintenance on these a little bit. Keep them operating. But then you get the problems where like your workshop stops operating because you didn't give it enough money. So it needs to have some money in storage, basically. All right. Warehouse upgrade. Almost done. Now is whether or not we actually have the money to upgrade these things. I may not have the money for this. I might need to talk to my mayor here and see about getting a bit of a loan. Uh, <laughs> did you sleep with me last night? What? Not even a greeting? Yeah, no. Uh, okay, so I need to... I, I'd like to get a loan here so that I can upgrade these warehouses. So I'll say, lend me some money. Business is good, but it could be better. So I'm looking for some funding to invest into expanding our production chain. Can I count on your support? Not for my own pockets, but we do have a sizable pot reserved for the public improvement. I don't see a problem with you dipping your hands in it as well. As long as you can assure me that you'll return it on time, the money is earmarked for a new church, you see. The church will never come, of course, but such promises give the people hope. If they if they learned the money was gone, well, let's not let it come to that, huh? So if I have my if I have my word, I will get thirty thousand dollars in legal money. I will need to return thirty five thousand dirty money to the city building in thirty days. Failing to repay the money in time will have serious consequences. So I need to be able to generate basically an extra five thousand in order to to have that happen. Hmm, okay. If I need to return five, so it's going to cost me five thousand. But if I can put this into a warehouse upgrade, I think I can probably make that. So I'm going to go ahead and say you have my word, and I'm going to get thirty-seven thousand. Now, of course, I have thirty days to repay that with dirty money. So. We're going to need to kind of stockpile some dirty money in here. So what I'm going to try to do, I think here is I'm going to put this at the lowest value. And then uh, I think what I ultimately have to do here is take this and let's cancel that connection so that the dirty money will come into here and uh, it gets dispersed. But we want to kind of stockpile it here so I can deliver it to the city. In fact, maybe I add the city itself, not this. I can add the city and then it can just bring it there might have that in 30 days but this money is going to go towards upgrading our warehouses so that i have more trucks and it's going to happen any second now right five hours left come on probably should have waited until the very minute i could use it right that might have been better okay so warehouse is two it's going to cost us a thousand to upgrade this so we're going to do that i'm going to do it with this one as well and also with this one it gives us a lot more trucks then I'm going to come into my research and I'm thinking I probably want to get something else. Let's say uh, transport company. Another delivery route is a good thing. Plastic bags. No, I'm looking for arm increasing. Oh, this right here. I'm looking for this agricultural economy. I have to have plantations before I can reduce the upkeep cost of farms. Well, that's no good. Uh, River Pier would be nice to have, but I don't. Uh, and then this is Warehouse, warehouse 2. And then we can also reduce the upkeep of the warehouses as well, which I think is probably a good thing. So we'll invest in the reduction of the warehouse upkeep as well. 
So I'm hoping anyway that I will now see money popping into this. And I think there's an overlay I could do. No, uh, is it? That's this. Yeah, this. I want to see what they're producing, but I also want to see where that money is. So the money is going, it's kind of trickling into the city coffers here, right? And uh, it just needs to be 35,000 on time, which is not an easy thing to do, but hopefully it will work. So we have more trucks now. Hopefully that leads to more drying, more packaging. And then the next thing now to do, because we have more opium coming in here than we can deal with, the next thing to get is the workshop upgrade, if we can. So the workshop upgrade, that's warehouse. We want the workshop upgrade, which is up here. Warehouse two, this uh, yeah, packaging interval goes down even more. And we unlock the ability to use avocados and chicken, which is good. Uh, upkeep will rise, but we can always get these other projects that go along with reducing the costs like right here. Uh, so, but that's a very expensive upgrade. So actually, I don't think I can actually do that. Um, maybe it would been be beneficial then to have two workshops in this area so that two of them can, can manage this. I think that might be of benefit to me if I go about here with it. I think that is in range of both of these anyway, and we could have another workshop that's, that's doing this. Now that is in range of both of these which isn't great. Oh, we're going to want this to be upkept with dirty money. Yep. So we're going to want to have dirty money delivered there, which we cannot do. It's out of range. Ah, okay, fine. Legal it is. Uh, and then this can now do coffee and opium. So now they'll, they'll send it over here instead of sending it here, which should give us, uh, you know, allow us to send more on trucks here to the border, which hopefully means we can make even more money. Now, our police rating is under control for a little while, but I do, would like to see the opium not being built up here so fast. They do get it right to the very tip. They do get just a little bit there. And then the coffee has to be brought here now too. So uh, let's turn this coffee back on actually. We, already, we still have 34 coffee in here, so I'm not late on that, but I obviously need coffee to put in here too. Okay, with two workshops over there, and let's see what our production is over here. It looks like we're mostly waiting for dried cannabis and the dryer is waiting for cannabis. So we need to have more farms that are cannabis centric here. So I'm going to say with dirty cash, go ahead and give me a, another tier two farm right here and might be able to get it by with this one over here too. I think we'll get another one right back here. Those are expensive, but we're going to do it. And um, we're going to say legal money for this. There's no benefit to doing it with dirty money. And then I want to have gravel roads as well, right? So we're going to have a gravel road go in. Let's shorten this route a little bit. Uh, we'll bring this route down to like this. And then I'm going to have this be gravel so we can get to it faster. Like that. And then this one can come across like that. And then we'll shift it to Sandy at this point. All right. And that's in range of the warehouses. We should see that kind of kick in right away, hopefully. Collecting more cannabis, more trucks, moving more product, okay? So we want to see. Now there's nine on every truck instead of three. That's very good for us. We can really ramp this up, hopefully. How are we doing on the city coffers? That's 6,800. That's not great. Um, I would like to track that. So the payment is due pretty soon. I think we're, I mean, so this is the progress bar, right? It's, it's ticking down and when it gets to the very bottom, of course, that's our, that's our, uh, that's our time limit, right? So we just need to have 35,000 in the, in there by the time this reaches zero. I think we're like, we've just ramped up production. So it, I think we're going to be okay with that. I think we're going to be fine. The police is no longer under control. We definitely need to keep our, our storages in check here. Now that we're able to handle more coffee though, now I need to keep an eye on how much coffee we're producing. The dryer is hopefully running a little bit more smoothly. I hope. Pretty soon here. We have a shorter route to the dryer. Let's go right across the street, please. And then this can keep packaging. All right, I think we're I think we're gonna do it. We have a lots of dirty money now, and um, that dirty money is getting tra is traveling all over the place. Once we can remove the city, I can add this warehouse, and we can manage this by dirty money too. 
And then you don't seem to be doing anything. Why have you stopped? Why are you paused? Building activities unpaused. Why are you paused? I think it's just you don't have enough to continue laundering. Is that it? I mean, we've stopped laundering because of this requirement, which I think we're actually going to get pretty easily now. Yeah, so I think I think we I need more connections with the residents too. Is there anything I can do for that residents right now, or do I need to unlock something else? Uh, we can get a hotel. That would actually be really helpful. It's very expensive, so I guess not. <laughs> that would have been really helpful though. Um, plantation two, crop yield. Yes, I think crop yield upgrade is great. It just it upgrades everything. Opium output goes up. Vegetable output goes up. Uh, coffee output, cannabis, avocado output, everything just works better that way. So we'll just do that. The ideal solution is, or the ideal situation is to have both of these, of course, running constantly. To have basically an equal amount of both resources going into each one of these and having all the trucks just managing that fluidly. So we obviously have to scale this up a little bit, but I've given it more cannabis now. I want to see this just constantly producing. It's not quite doing that. There's also a little bit of a bug regarding soil layers in this beta build, uh, in which if I hover over top of this, it will start to show me the like soil quality for these, which is the way it's designed. It's supposed to do that kind of, except it's not accurate, but also the fact that it just stays in this mode and I have to manually clear it. So it's a little bit weird. Like soil fertility is not accurate, but I don't know what, it, like, I don't know which one of these it's actually showing me when it does that, but it's none of them really. So, I mean, it's just like keeping it on that mode. Like there is no fertility that does this. This is not dried, it's like dried cannabis fertility, right? Like, what is that? There's no dried cannabis fertility in existence. That's probably why it glitches out. All right. Payment is getting due. We have 35,000 or we have 30,000 in there. I think we're going to be fine. 32,000. Yeah, we're going to be fine here. We got plenty. Uh, this is, of course, being managed by the Dirty 2, so we don't have to worry about it. It has a lot to ship out here. Look at this. Yeah, there's a hundred and... Wow. There's a lot of stuff that's left to sell. So it's only able to do two at a time? Or it's the one slot, right? Yeah, yeah, it's one slot. So they're delivering the vegetables, but they're actually not selling them they don't have enough slots for it so i need another slot for the checkpoint that's probably the next thing i should do then so where is the checkpoint right over the checkpoint is here uh i don't see like it's, i already have access to it but i guess additional terminal yeah right here additional slot so i guess i need to hit this i don't have an wow i don't have enough legal money for that 600 that's all I need. 600. Wow. Okay. I, I need more money to be brought here. I think we're, I think we're good on this, right? You guys going to send it the rest of the money there? Hopefully I'm running out of legal money. It's going it, to, this is bad. This is really, really bad. We're so close to having this. Just send one more truck and we're good. Things are going to stop operating because they don't have upkeep. There's the, that's the last car right there. We got it. Done. 35 grand is in there. We can pay back the debt now. So let's pay back this debt. Still time. Yes, I know. Consider the debt settled. We're going to pay the debt early. That was crazy. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to do is remove the city and add the launderer back in. We just need more money being pushed in there. Um, so, so everything is being shut down because it's not being managed by dirty money. We could do it with dirty money. Um, like these farms are still producing. But the warehouse will not be and that's the problem so we have to launder this money there it goes and i'm thinking we jack this up to the maximum if we can and do it as fast as possible through here it looks like we are selling the vegetables now that's great that's a lot of that's a lot of dirty cash that just came in yeah, yeah good 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 so now it's just a matter of laundering it come on now you're almost done this is literally a show me the money situation right now Got it. All right. We're back up. Everything's good now. You all can continue doing your tasks. So we managed to leverage debt to the benefit of our organization. We scaled up. 
our infrastructure for that we got a lot more production and now we have a little bit of terror that happened there but uh, i think we're gonna be just fine let's hit this and see what it does um robert gallardo takes some cash from the jewelry store the lieutenant will take resources until he receives regular payment All right well he's being maintained right now with the uh with the legal money so that makes sense um and that's fine he'll take money from whatever until he gets his payment but he did okay Whew. okay so now it's just a matter of like making sure everything's balanced but I, I think financially we're in great shape now um so we can take a look at this it doesn't have any coffee this has a lot of opium it's waiting on coffee that means we should probably get our other coffee field so let's go to get another coffee field up that's gonna enable us to double our coffee supply and uh, these things hopefully won't have to wait because this isn't is waiting for coffee this one's gonna be waiting for coffee too there we go um this side we're drying cannabis pretty consistently there's a little bit of a delay there could probably use with one more field but I think we're all right for now and what's happening here so it is now suspicious of coffee this is what i was talking about earlier so um if we uh sell coffee at the border we're going to increase terror because they're suspicious of this we need to start start shifting ourselves into trying to leverage another product we need to start leveraging vegetables for example so we're going to probably be a good idea here to get a vegetable farm uh, into this area at least and i will put this right over but oh, we probably need two of them for this amount of volume i think we probably need two of them we're going to put two vegetable fields one here one here and uh we'll build this with illegal money i'm all right with that build these up um they're gonna start growing now what i want to do is shift this to use vegetables instead right and the cargo here is now going to use only vegetables instead of the coffee so the containers sorry let's, let's have the containers delivered but um over here we want to say that you are only shipping now uh where is it vegetables <laughs> vegetables you're only shipping vegetables and not this but containers of vegetables that's it so now we can package things up with coffee we can continue to do that that's not a big deal i can have one of them do it for example while the other one just does vegetables um and actually i should probably just have them both doing coffee anyway um until you know we're ready to ship but the the shipping the transport company will keep a supply of these containers until it gets really full and then we can stop it from getting delivered now we just need to shift ourselves into vegetables now the good thing is we're we have another product that is being packaged we have vegetables already going with dry cannabis so we still have an income that's the, that's the important thing um but diversifying your resources diversifying what you're shipping at the border is very important otherwise for the next 32 hours we'd have no income and that's basically game over with the way we have things um transport company would be pretty good to upgrade and um that's a pretty significant upkeep reduction but we only have one of these it's better to reduce the upkeep in buildings that you have a lot of instead and that's why i want to get to farm so it looks like i'm going to have to go to plantation one which is expensive just to bring this down uh i don't really want to do that i think i'd rather go yeah extra delivery route would be pretty good uh better stockpile for the warehouses let's maybe hit the hit the stockpile hit the warehouses here actually i think because we can get extra trucks on the warehouse which would be good uh, and then after that i think maybe we'll go into storage on farms is not that useful workshop two would be better allowing us to leverage uh higher storage here packaging interval would be greatly reduced um like that's a that's a huge thing there and then also we could start leveraging other things like avocados too so maybe i'll save the money to get warehouse two see we sold a lot of opium at the border do we have anybody with like a special deal with opium he has a dried cannabis dealer affects the selling price of dried cannabis at the smuggling point where the lieutenant is located oh my god get over there i totally forgot about that good now he's in slot two and that's gonna give us an extra slot to sell too so that's great all right totally forgot about that See, it's been a while since i played this game so <laughs> i'm gonna have to remember things as i go 
Capo, word is spreading like wildfire of growing tension between Border Patrol and our drivers at the border. Border Patrol? I thought we had them in our pocket. We did, but they're starting to get anxious, saying we're trying to put too many trucks through at a time. It's starting to get suspicious. Perhaps it's time to take, I mean, find ourselves a new point for our exports, just in case something goes down. I know it would make the lieutenants happy too. We don't much fancy a war at the border, Mikapo. Uh, okay, so tell you what, let's... Um, we asked for five weeks. We need to capture a new smuggling point within 35 days. Capture a new smuggling point within 35 days. Can we just build one? Like, I'll do aerodrome research. I'm good with that. Our own airport. Would that work, though? Ask him for four weeks or don't tell me what I want. <laughs> Ignore this event, but allegiance will decrease a small amount for all lieutenants. All right. Well, I'll say five weeks, but if I don't... If the allegiance decreases a small amount for all lieutenants and he's zealous, I actually don't care about that. The repercussions of doing this would be worse. And I gain nothing. Because if I satisfy the requirements, then... I won't gain anything with him. So I'm actually going to do this. It's going to go really just a little bit down and I don't care. So that's it. Um, but I do think getting our own airport would be a good idea. And I believe that is not there here. 12,000, we can build our own airport. Uh, warehouses, I want fleet size too. So that's going to be queued up. Maybe I switch to this. Can I? Oh, I, so I can't swap them. I would love to swap them. I like that you can queue them up. I do like that, but I would like to like postpone this and, and go down here instead. But it doesn't look like that's possible, so I guess it's fine. And then, is there anything else I want to queue up while I'm here? I've already. It looks like I've already prepaid for this stuff too, which is kind of cool. Extra luggage space. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, we'll prepay for this stuff. So then, as we unlock it, we can go. I'm not sure where we're gonna be allowed to build it. it seems like. Uh, not a farm. I want to do something that's like a transport company. So we'll probably build it. I think back here. Seems like a good place to build it. Because that's in range of the residents. They can handle the money. And then we'll want to upgrade the residents probably too. And then also we have all these extra roads back here. Which is kind of weird. It's because of the... You know those caches that we had, right? We had to dig into them. I'm not sure how often I'll use those. Because usually, at least in the last playthrough anyway... I'm usually laundering money, like, quite fast compared to, uh, yeah, I'm usually laundering money quite fast. So we're at, we're at max capacity here on the, on the coffee, which is not great. Um, I think I'm going to take on, mm, I'm going to move you over here. I'm going to move all your coffee containers. Well, not all, but some of your coffee containers. I'm going to move them like 20, like half of them. And we're going to shift them over to the residence. I'm just going to store them in here for now. Um, that's going to free you up space here. And then what I want you to do is shift the vegetables. And now that both of you are managing vegetables, we shouldn't get a whole lot more coffee containers uh, delivered here. And so that'll be, uh, that'll be great. So let's put you back to the border now. You're just paused. We need to do legal money here, so... We'll manage it with legal money. We'll send it out. Everything will be fine. So that, that's why that happens. I don't have any dirty money right now because my export's paused. And it's because I was using dirty money as the upkeep for the checkpoint. But in so doing, if there's ever a time where this doesn't have any dirty money, then this will pause, which means it won't export anything, which means I can't get any more dirty money. So you have to have like a lot of stored in here to actually enable that function, I think. Now we've got a lot of money in here. I want to dump it quickly. I want to have all this cash. I want to, I want to dump this really quickly. So I'm going to take Papo and tell him to bring 12 grand and one big lump sum and bring it all the way over here. Now we're going to get a lot more money delivered to that laundering point. And then I'm just going to have you, you can stop delivery now and you can just sit in here. Just that extra, that extra place there. All right, good. Now you can launder a lot faster. But I think we made some pretty good progress today, right? I think we have. Uh, we have the aerodrome research done. We have 29,000 legal money. How much does it cost to make our... Uh, it's 30,000. Wow. 30,000 to build this. Isn't that great? 
We're so close to having 30,000. Isn't that convenient? So not enough dirty money. You have to you have to do this with dirty money. Oh, interesting. Can you I can build this with legal money. Yeah, I can do that. It would be nicer to build this with dirty money though, wouldn't it? Dude, that would be so much better to build this with dirty money. Cuz we wouldn't have to re-launder it. Oh, that'd be so so much better. Well, I'll probably have to go a little bit of time here and let this run, but I mean, I'm laundering really quickly, so I guess I could do this. Temporarily take the jewelry store out of it. That will allow us to stock up on dirty money for a while. It is an option. And then the farms, we could I still would love. I can't believe I have to have plantation before I can do this. That sucks. I really wish I didn't need that. Attic space, residence, yeah, increased storage volume, power, delivery routes, more trucks. All right, know thy neighbor. We'll, we'll increase the radius on this building. It's fine. That's the residence. Uh, yeah, increase the radius on the residence there too. All right. Well, this has been a video. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We uh, are going to start looking at investing some of this legal money in the town. Um, I really need to get the loyalty up because this is starting to decline and I don't like that. And one of the ways we could do this is by getting a church. The church is interesting because you can build it cheaper technically with legal money and you get a loyalty action and it looks like that is a medium now. Oh, oh, so it's the charitable foundation. The charitable foundation has this now. Founding a charity moderately increases loyalty. Lieutenant's endurance regenerates faster here. So we get uh, a high, yeah, high on this. Loyalty one-time increase. That's really all it's for is you just, you just, oh, it's the cathedral I was, is the one I was thinking of. Yes, the cathedral is the one I was thinking of. Okay, because what this does, it's very expensive, but this has a very high laundering amount very high uh very high amount of laundering that can be placed in here but it also has a very high loyalty increase so this is what i was thinking of not this that's eighty thousand dollars so ugh. probably not gonna be able to do that and i have to have a lot more business before i can do that too so i think just expanding our enterprise is probably the best idea we can do here um once we can start shipping coffee again we're gonna be really good there and fundraising is now done, so the story can continue. Secretaria de Agricultura y Desarrollo Rural? Desarrollo, I don't know how to say that word, rural. Uh, what do you say to this appointment? Guillermo Falco knows this, but that suits him just fine. I will play the part. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So basically, I'm the secretary of rural agriculture, basically. Camilic Cervantes twists a small black key into the lock. Uh, do not take me for a fool, senor. The lock clicks and she pulls open the lattice doors to reveal a collection of glassware. Uh, champagne flutes, whiskey tumblers, shot glasses, etc. All different from each other and assembled without any appreciable organization. Roberto keeps his cards close to his chest, but I can tell when he thinks he holds a winning hand. And until I figure out whether you are un as o un com, comodin, comod, what? I don't know. Uh, you will have, uh, I will have to keep you closer. Basically, until she knows whether I can be trusted, I think is what she's saying. Um, from the cellaret, uh, she uh, pulls a bottle of clear spirit and three glasses. Are we expecting company? Allowing the doors uh, to swing closed loudly behind her, Camilla transfers the bottle and glasses to the writing table and calls out, Wagner! Pretoculo aquí, ya? I think that's how you say it. Uh, suddenly, an owl-faced man, apparently that's an owl face, hastens into the office. The man is outfitted in a, near, in a newly tailored plum-colored suit. His plum bottom lip is surrounded by a thick white beard and a mustache that twists into a curl on each end. Senora Cervantes, thank you for this chance to 
Kalens. Is it Cayens? Kalens? I don't know. A lot of these words I have never heard before. Like I said, I have very, very limited knowledge of Spanish. I'm just trying my best here. Um, her focus is unmoved from the pouring of mezcal into two of the three glasses. Falco wears a perplexed grimace. Guillermo Falco. This is Wagner Castrillon. Castrillon's uh, face is perked up. Could be Castrillon's too, but I, from what I, again, I don't know what the conditions are for a double L to be a Y sound, but I, usually it is, right? So Falco, you mean as in, excuse me, if, uh, what is this? Por favor, Calens. Uh, ah, por Dios. A splash of mezcal escapes her. She, oh, she's like, oh, por Dios. Like she probably spilled it or something. Uh, wipes the glass with her thumb. The PRE is hoping to establish a foothold in the south of the country, and that means Elenas, Riomanos, and Mentalion. I'm putting you in charge, but Wagner here will be my eyes. If he tells you, uh, if he tells me you bought even a malote of, uh, with, oh, sorry, even a malote with dirty money, oh, the dirty dollar, I'll have you out of his par this party. Wow, that was hard. I don't know why it was hard. It was hard. Uh, she pops the stopper back into the top of the glass and slides a glass to Falco. Then she passes the empty glass to Castrion. We wouldn't want another incident like the rack house, verdad? Wagger pushes his spectacles up over the, the bridge of his nose. No, Senor Cervantes. So now Wagner is available for hire. It doesn't say that he's hired. It just says that he's available for hire. So that's interesting. He's available for hire. And he's free. So that's good. Uh, peacemaker. He can move. He can deliver. I like it. It's only on one power. But the peacemaker thing is great. Because loyalty will grow. So. I'm going to hire you. And I'm going to stick you in here. I need that loyalty to go up passively, and you can do that for me. So go ahead and do that. And then, uh, obviously, we're going to keep you out of the city because that's just going to be raising terror and stuff. So, okay, know thy neighbor is done. That's going to increase the radius on the residences. And then the last thing I'll do here is I want to get more trucks, I think, on the residences would be a good idea. But it's even better idea to get another terminal, maybe even on this. We have enough dirty money to build it now. It's sitting in storage ready to go, isn't it? It sure is. We should do that. We're going to do that. Aerodrome is going to be placed. Let's check fertility really quick. I don't want to mess up. So we have vegetables there. Sorry, opium there. Vegetables, no. Coffee, not really. Um, nothing really there. There's a little bit of avocado up here, which I could use. If I keep the aerodrome back here, it should be fine. Okay. Seems like... For what we have anyway, for what I have access to, um, and perhaps I could even look at it for more advanced stuff if I do this. Coco. There's not really anything in this area. This area is perfect for an aerodrome. There's, there's no reason to not build one here. So we're going to do that. We're going to build our own airport other than it being too steep. Ah, here we go. We're going to build our own airport right here. Right there. And of course, we are going to build that with the dirty money. And we're going to have our uh, gravel road right there. And our little connection point right there. Our own private airfield. And then all the money can just be brought in here really quickly. And there it is. It's done. So now we'll, in three days, we'll have another smuggling point that we can send things out of. And the cool thing about this particular smuggling point is that it's our own private planes, which means we don't actually have to go through the warehouses. So if I take a look at the workshop, we're already overproducing opium. We could send the opium directly to the aerodrome and ship it out because um, we're overproducing, right? Um, it would be nice, however, to uh, you know be able to keep up with the production. And we still have 52 days on coffee being suspicious. So we could ship the coffee stuff out this way too. Um, that would be probably preferred. The transport company is full on coffee. Yep. And then you are still... Oh, you need to work with vegetables. My bad. Yeah. So we need to produce more vegetables too. And it looks like you are, you're full on vegetable storage. Do we not have trucks bringing that? I, I'm confused. Do we not have trucks bringing that? You should be bringing that over there. What's taking you so long, guys? 
You just have other tasks or what? Do you not have a direct route? Hang on. This looks like it's a good candidate for a gravel upgrade to get into here, but you guys should be able to get there. Yeah, I'm not noticing any trucks coming here. They're going to other places instead. Oh, there we go. That guy just tagged up, didn't he? Maybe not. They really should be bringing more vegetables into here. Yeah, weird. They're just not touching this. They're in range, easily. They have a road connection. You have to be a certain distance away or what? Yeah, they're only going to these fields. So if I shut down one of my opium fields, right? Let's say we just shut that field down so we don't produce that anymore. Is that going to free up logistics enough for a truck to get here? I think I need another warehouse. I think I do. Yeah, they're not, they're not touching that field. Both warehouses are selecting on that, but neither one of them are going to go get it. Huh. That's interesting. Well, I've got another warehouse I could do, so why don't we put another warehouse over here? We could expand opium even more this way, I think. Um, we could put another field for opium right here. That's 100%. That's possible to do, right? 99%. Uh, we could put another field over here, too. That's possible to do. And we want to not have a road connection to that either. And this is also 100%. So we'll do that as well. And you might think, hey, why don't you tear down your fields and do a plantation instead, right? That would be a good solution as well. It means less trucks bringing it, right? So we have to do research for that. But yeah, we could do that too. Um, so if I take the plantation, for example, it's 13,000 legal money. Uh, it would allow me to get into this too, I guess. So we'll queue that up. Fine, I'll do it. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel construction on these extra fields. And then we'll start tearing down these, these basic farms and we'll remake it to where we have a plantation instead. That, that would hopefully help us with the number of connections. This area is going to get busy enough, I think, to where we're going to want another warehouse here too. So I'm going to grab another warehouse and stick it in here. It just, I keep forgetting that I can't put it there though. It's going to have to be here. Which isn't a big deal. I don't think that's getting in the way of any fertility, is it? Uh, let's bring the map back down. Uh, we're looking at farms. It's not really getting in the way of anything. Not Nothing meaningful, anyway. Yeah, maybe some avocados. I did want to start packaging avocados, but I have all this land here for that, so... I could put a plantation right there for that, so... Yeah, that's fine. We'll get another, uh, get another warehouse put it right here. This can handle the rest of this here too. It'd be nice if I could put it this direction, because that way I could maybe fit another building there, but nah. All right, we'll just set it right up here like this. And then uh, Sandy Road's there. They build it with legal with illegal money already. And so now I think maybe getting the warehouse upkeep taken down. And then if I do that, I'm going to need a residence. And so I think the residence is going to have to go here. And that way we can get the residences to um, do what it needs to do. All right, Aerodrome is being managed by Dirty Money at the moment. And that's not a, the worst thing in the world, but I do want to bring back our jewelry store so we can start laundering again because we're running out of time here. We're running out of uh, legal money here. We've got a lot of Dirty Money stashed in the residence. And then there's still some here too. I would like you to be maintained with legal money. And then I also want to bring things there. So logistics, I want to bring things to this location as well. We have an extra location we can bring things to. And for you, because coffee is not, you know, working out here, I want, for cargo's sake here, I want you to only bring me opium right now. We're just going to ship straight up opium to this location as much as we can. The coffee was just brought here, and that's fine. But we're just going to ship straight opium here because it's we can do that. We don't have to, you know, manage that. We don't have to package it up. So if we're overproducing opium, we can just go ahead and do that. So the transport company now is allowed to have straight up opium in its storage. And because of that, it can then ship that opium over here directly. It's not very much. And I probably should just do the packages because it's 
maybe better to do that and I can look at that later. But for now, I can kind of get get around all this extra that I've got going, right? So I can turn this back on. Um, these fields can be upgraded. I think the coffee fields are good. The vegetable fields are already tier two. And still nobody is coming over. This has got to be a, a reason for this, right? Like, what is the reason for you not to come here? You're connected to the road just fine. There's nothing wrong there. You could easily get there. This one's connected straight through this road. That's easy to get to. You have a connection there. That's easy to get to. There's nothing stopping you from getting here other than the fact that you're just not you're just not getting here. That's it. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Like, somebody going to grab this? None of them do, you know? None of them are willing to grab the vegetables out of this farm. They're only grabbing from this one. And it's really small increments, usually, too. Isn't that weird? There's got to be a reason for this. If you know the reason for this, let me know in the comments. I, I don't exactly know what's going on there. But like the, the trucks just flat out won't go there. And this, sometimes they're they're in here waiting, but they just don't go. It's this farm right here. It says paused, right? It's it's enabled. Right, we're, we're enabling here. It's just maybe I take away. I, I don't know. Take away this one. See what happens. Will you go to the other one? This is now the only source of vegetables and they won't go. All the roads are connected. Maybe they weren't connected. They let me do that. It doesn't have to be gravel or anything specific. Yeah, none of the cars will go here. That is so wa weird. Huh. Okay, well, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to tear this field down and rebuild it, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. They just won't take it. So let's tear it down. I mean, if, if they just don't want to take it, then whatever. I can, there's nothing I can do. So we'll deconstruct. And we'll build another one. I suppose. Uh, over here, let's make sure that our, our agricultural economy is already done. So at this point, we can absolutely... Uh, you know, we'll have lower upkeep with dirty money on farms and plantations if we upkeep them with... Uh, well, we should have. Didn't I get that? Yeah. Farm cash, plantation cash. Oh, this is just... This is just cash? Oh, yeah, it's cash. Exactly. So... Farm... Oh, these are all farm twos. I have to look at these farms. These are farm ones. Yes, there we go. Yeah, so maybe that was less useful than I thought because there's no residents here. But I guess it would still work with the plantation, which is what I was ultimately looking to do. Yeah, I feel like I've misplayed the last, you know, the last little bit here. I feel like it's been uh, kind of an assortment of misplays, right? I mean, I don't think this farm thing was my fault. I had this completely hooked up to the road just fine. It just, just refused to connect. It was very weird. Uh, so let's try this again. Uh, we'll put another... Uh, this time, I suppose we could do a plantation. The opium plantation. And I could stick the opium plantation right here instead. And uh, maybe right here instead, because it's... Yeah, we can move the vegetable farms and move them somewhere else. Or just go back to shipping coffee. Maybe we just get vegetables out of here and just go back to shipping coffee. It was working really well. I just got to ship it out of the... I got to ship it out of here now, you know what I mean? I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to I'm going to say coffee containers can go here and I'm going to turn these things back to coffee and uh, I'm just going to have you do your thing. I'm going to have you ship things out again. So we're going to ship coffee out with, with the planes. We're going to ditch the the vegetable ID over here. It just isn't working out for me. I'm not I'm not digging it. I'm not feeling it. It was it was doing well before and I want to go back to the way it was working before. <laughs> uh, call me old fashioned that way. Things were better before. <laughs> all right i think this is gonna wrap up the video today thank you so much for watching everybody i do appreciate you. it's been a long one i know but uh some of you guys on this channel are used to long videos if you have a problem with the long videos and you want them shorter 
chances are you won't be able to tell me because you're not watching anymore <laughs> but uh if you uh are somebody who enjoys it you know let me know i'm 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 always open to the comments about this those types of things okay take it easy we'll see ya bye, -bye.